Inflation was only felt especially after the pandemic in April 2021, when the CPI broke above 2% to 4%, and then it moved up very quickly to a high of 9% in June 2022. But the goal has been telling us that inflation is coming since the year 2000, and that was 24 years ago. And currently, Go is also indicating to us that there's more upside to come in the long term. And what will be the implication to inflation and ultimately interest rates down the road? My name is Kon Hao. My work in this channel, as always, is to study behavior science and finance, discover correlations between different markets, and uncover potential opportunities. And before we get into this subject, please do take some time to read into the disclaimer. Let's try to understand the inflation with money supply through this M0 demonstration. And what is M0? It is created through the direct actions of the central bank by issuing currencies and managing the country's monetary reserve. In short, it is the printing of money. And we're going to do a comparison between the increase of money supply and the core prices. Let's study over these decades. Is CPI a better gauge to track inflation or could it be the gold market? And we can see that the since the beginning or the fiat currency being created in 1971, the money supply has been increasing. But I do notice that the uh, this slide or this chart has been the gradient has a little bit more steeper than the previous decades starting from the year 2000. With the increase of money supply, inflation or gold start to accelerate. And especially true when the money supply increased so steeply after the subprime crisis in 07, 08 with QE1, 2 and 3 in July 08, what we saw here in July 08, it is here. And that's here. We could see a very sharp recovery or incre incremental on the inflation, which, which is represented by the gold market. And let's look at another example here. And that was just about half a year ago before the pandemic in July 2019. And we saw that was a V-shaped recovery in the expansion of money supply. And that's July 2019. And of course, with the pandemic and the stimulus, more money is being printed. And let's look at what happened to July 2019. And July 2019 is here. Uh, this is here. And we could see that the acceleration of gold again, very steeply. And something interesting to take note is that I do not know, but what I saw my observation is that there seems to have a, another V-shaped recovery on the expansion of money supply starting from October 2022. And let's look at what happened to October 2022. It is here. And we saw that the retracement is done for gold and it saw an increase of V-shaped recovery as well on the inflation through the gold prices. And why whenever there's a V-shaped increase in the money supply, it creates inflation. Because when money is printed too fast that it cannot keep pace to the produce of goods and services, it creates a dilution of purchasing power. Does it sound complex? This means that when now we have to fork out much more money just to buy the same product compared to 24 years ago. And I will always like to experiment with different ratio all the time. And this is a uh, ratio that I chance upon called the gold interest rate ratio. And I use the uh, short term bridging loan or two years yield gold versus two years yield. And I saw this uh, ratio. And what it means here is that gold is always accelerating as we studied earlier. And when the gold interest rate ratio is have this bell shape, it means that the interest rate or inflation is pretty stable. But whenever the goal and interest rate uh, ratio is flattish, it means that the interest rate is also on par, on the rise with inflation or with the gold market. And let's look at what happened to somewhere around here. We could see that the 
in 2018, somewhere around here, maybe October 2018, that this gold interest rate ratio is pretty much stable. And let's look at the interest rate of the two years yield in October 2018. And where's October 2018? It's about here, it reached a high. Means that the interest rate track inflation, interest rate track the goal. Whenever this ratio is flattish, it means that it also tracked the goal on inflation. And let's look at what happened here that we saw that this ratio has been flattish for quite a while. And I believe that it's going to stay this for a long period of time, which is not a good news. It means that interest rate may track the goal. And let's look at what happened. I think it begins somewhere around here, October 2022. And that's where the interest rate start to move up. October 2022, and it will remain that high. So what I'm trying to say here is that as long as the goal and interest rate ratio remain flattish, and I suspect that the interest rate across the board will continue to pan up. To hedge into inflation, we can either invest in gold, assets like the physical or paper, but for the short to medium volatility hedge, perhaps you can consider the micro goal futures, it can be pretty helpful. And what I'm seeing here is that on the monthly chart or weekly chart, that over the span of last few years, it has a tend to cross convincingly above 2000, but you have filled all these years. But finally, at the close of perhaps this month, but definitely on the last quarter of last year, I could see that um, you have closed pretty convincingly above 2000. But as for this month, it's just the beginning of the month, I will continue to keep track. At the close of March, if it closed very strongly, I will know exactly how to trade the gold market. I will continue to buy into dips. As long as the money supply is ever increasing, and it is likely to be the case, inflation will continue. Instead of using the conventional set of data, to monitor inflation, we can also consider to track the direction of the precious metals. Gold is beyond a commodities, it is an inflation hedge asset and it's also an inflation indicator. Stay tuned for my coming tutorial. Remember to subscribe to my channel. The market are always telling us on their next move. Join us for the weekly case study and discussion. Click on my profile icon to find out more. Feel free to leave any comments below. I love to exchange ideas with you. Really happy that you stay through this tutorial. You have many great trading weeks ahead.